Okay. We figured we had the only three top of the line lawn mowers. Two lawns and three mowers. Two lawns, three mowers. We have more mowers than that. And uh, we are not professionals. We're not even good at tour reviews. But we watch a lot of them. And we thought what we would do is have just a really generic review on this, but like nuanced things, stuff that you don't get from every other review. Um, so you're probably not gonna hear about blade RPM speeds and decibel ratings and watt hours specifically against all of them, just our initial impressions. Two of these we've had for a year and one of them, as you can tell, is probably brand new. Um, and so we'll talk about that. So this is Terry, I'm Mark. Not that that makes any difference, but let's talk to Terry first. He has the Ego Mower and kind of an interesting story on how he got it, what he likes, loves, and hates about it. So let's go through that. All right. Well, first of all, I tried to pick one that was reasonably suited for the size of this lawn. It's a 12,000 square foot yard. It probably has about 6,000 square foot of grass to give you a data point. Started out with a seven and a half amp hour version of this mower. Didn't quite give me enough comfort that I had headroom to get the whole lawn done. So after about a week or two or three, I took it back and upgraded to the 10 amp hour mower. It handles this yard just fine. So this is the front yard. The backyard's about twice this size. Um, like almost everything about it, it's super light because it's all plastic. Do that yeah. with that as you wish. Yeah. Normally I would not go for an all plastic anything. Yeah, and just to kind of give you an idea of Terry's background, he likes everything overbuilt in every way, shape, or form. So the fact that he ended up here does not mean this thing is chintzy. Literally everything he has is overbuilt to the max. Got some super nice features. I mean, I'm sure you've probably all seen the, I'm doing it wrong for the purposes of this, but it's really easy to put it in the garage and store yeah. the shed this way. Uh, it comes with a couple of different blades. It's got- Does it come with those blades or are those the ones you purchased yeah, extra? No, everything came with it. So it came with the blades okay. and it came with the high lift as, as part of the package. Um, ergonomics are pretty nice on this thing. Let's see, it's got all sorts of height adjustments. The one little complaint I have is this is the speed control. Okay. It's really easy to bump it into branches and find yourself sprinting. So how do, how do you turn it on? How does it go? Like, where do you start that? There's the master switch. Okay. There's the master motor on, except I took the battery that's out. That's right. But uh, we'll put another battery in it so you can see that. But anyway, that's master switch. That's blade on. And then that's... Go. They're both uh, wired as a as an ORD scenario, so you don't have to hit both. You just right, one just pick other. one. And is it easy to hold your hand like that on that one and keep it going? Yeah, I mean, your hand just kind of is falls. is this variable at all, or is it just on off? No, it's just binary. You're on off, and the speed control is Got like it. this. Like I said, the new model. So this is a 2021 model. The 22s that I saw at Ace the other day have moved this down here in a more traditional lever. Got it. So kind of kind of like yeah. the Makita here. Yep. Okay. So if I had that on this. I would probably be just happy as a clam. This is, this is a one nit, I mean, it's pretty minor, but um, I've been tempted to put a couple of little marks in here so I can remember what speed is, because you can't. Oh, does it not have numbers or anything? Not that I've ever noticed. Okay, no, it there. doesn't. Yeah. Got it, it's just all the way off, yep. or mm -hmm. it's a detent there for off, and on, and you probably like around, seven or eight or whatever. After you bump it, and then once you settle back in your normal walk, Got it. Fine. Now you don't, do you bag with this? I have, I do both. Um, I kind of like, mowing frequently and not bagging because it just seems like it makes more sense environmentally um, but it does a great job bagging i have no complaints with uh you know i'll let it go easily another inch longer than this and it bags just fine okay interesting but the last couple of mows i've done have been i have the mulching blade on here and so the mulch is really nice okay yeah i noticed you put the high lift and the mulching blade on there mm -hmm. which is one thing i want to talk about because that's yeah. a big reason of why i looked at these two mowers here now you also, you've driven my Makita, if you will, you've test driven that. We got these, the Makita and the Ego at the same time. So what did you think about the Makita, good, bad, or indifferent? Cause I know you were on the borderline. You go to the TV store and you look at two really nice TVs next to each other and you say, oh, that's infinitely different. I can see why as I'm looking at it. When you get them both home in two different homes, you can't tell any difference. Yeah. It's kind of the way these are. Uh, this feels great. I love the lightweight. I love the nimbleness. I love the throw aroundedness of it. As soon as you touch that one, you go, oh, this feels like a traditional lawnmower. It's all steel. It just has more mass. And it kind yeah. of looks like a lawnmower. Yeah. So, you know, um, controls wise, kind of the same thing. You know, you still have the, the master power and the go. Uh, like I said, this, this throttle. You, you actually don't need the red for master power. You can go with just the black handle. 
as long as the power is switched on, you can just push the black panel and that thing will take off. Oh, with the blade turned with the blade off yeah this will do that too oh, okay this, okay this, this runs with itself without the blade got it okay so you don't have to use that that bail bar the green bail bar there right. to just, if the battery was in I'd and you just do that and it would just go okay yeah, which is which is nice when you're putting the motor away and stuff like that yeah it's different the, the milwaukee's not that way the milwaukee you have to have the bail bar on one other little bit i'm looking at your bail here mm -hmm. this because it's got this infinitely nicely foldable handle you know this thing when you fold when you store it if you have a low clearance flip this that's thing. nice that's a nice feature up or over. So yep. it goes in a nice package the downside to that is when you go to take the bag off notice my hands are right where the impediment would be mm -hmm. so you kind of like flip it off on the ground and then you come around behind yeah you end up doing that with the makita too a bit yeah. I, I will tell you my favorite we'll, we'll get between the makita and the milwaukee do you have your bag can you come get that real quick is it local yeah. just so we can see how they all work together yep. Sorry for the short intermission. I'm really bad at editing videos. Uh, we take a lot of content, so we thought we'd throw one of these things up here just to see uh, <laughs> if it gets any traction. Probably won't. We're talking about lawnmowers, but. <laughs> yeah, I recently just got this Milwaukee. Um, long story short, I have to return that Makita. There's one very small problem on it and I'm within the return window. Um, and they would not do a direct trade for the Makita. They don't have it in store, so I couldn't trade it out. Um, and they wouldn't order it from the store. I won't say which store, but it's a big box store that has a lot of orange on it, which is fine. They said they would return it, uh, but I didn't know what to do. So the Milwaukee, it just came out, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, one of the reasons I looked at Makita, I actually have a lot of Milwaukee power tools, but uh so the batteries were there but the batteries didn't make that much of a difference to me uh realistically um terry and i live across the street from each other so we share each other's tools all the time uh that said the he has a lot of makita tools so i figured hey if i have batteries it's not the end of the world um and the makita is a really nice quality mower in general you might put that on just so i can oh cool yeah how's that battery work we'll bring this out nice Everyone and tracks. Says, yeah. so this is 56 and oh uh, volts 110 amp hours so little slap there you go and then when you touch this 10 amp hours 10.1 can't uh, be 110 is, amp hours it's 10 amp hours and 56 volts okay you said 110 so i just want to make sure yeah no worries okay and now have you had any i'm going to ask the loading question here have you had any issues with this battery charging <laughs> well funny you should ask <laughs> Now it lit up, as you notice there, you can you can do it two ways. You can press the button itself and it'll tell you the status of charge. Okay, so this or is cool. Or if you, well, let that color out, if you press the, press the, the go button, it'll light up. Anytime the mower is running, you see the current start status of charge. Okay. So I pulled it off the charger this morning. It's been on there for about four days. It gave me three bars. Put it on the charger in the garage. It too gave me three bars. Notice, in the, however long we've been talking, it's gone up to five bars. So you only so, have it on there for 20 minutes, maybe, not, not even. Yeah. Okay. So I'm a little unclear, a little uncertain about what, what's going on with the charger. Maybe there's some corrosion or something it funky. Issue, or, it could be a charger issue. It yeah. could be just a, you know, an operator error issue. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So Very they're talking about bagging. So you, you reach through here, and my little arms kind of oh. struggle to line this thing up. Interesting. So, so I usually, I'll kind of wind up. I don't usually have the bar. Vertically challenged, so this would come out. Multi plug, yeah. All these have a multi plug of some sort. Kind of line that up. Okay. So when I empty it, I typically go like this, drop it on the ground, and then come around from the back to get it. Yeah, very so interesting. A little unfortunate that a little. Everyone does them the same way, right or wrong. They've all just copied each other's designs. Well, not these are all three of these are slightly different designs, which is what's interesting for how much they're similar and kind of copy. They're all different. Um, which is what I've, one of the things I found interesting about the Milwaukee and the Makita, just the delta between them. So okay. that is probably part of the reason that I just mulch instead of bag. Okay. And then, so going backwards to the Makita, we were talking about what you liked, loved, or hated about that when you were driving it. And I'm going to talk about it too, so I have to go through everything. But just impressions. Obviously, you you have Makita batteries. You, you went with an Ego. Yeah, so I have a the, the complete Makita Ego system for all my power tools. And this was, I still can't explain how I wound up with this one. Mark had this one a week or so before I had mine. 
And I, I tried to convince you because I do like the Smower a lot. Yep. Well, he tried to convince me two years ago not to buy a new Honda, <laughs> which I have in the backyard. I'm in the process of giving away too. A six hundred dollar uh, Honda. Yeah, you did so not buy I a cheap one. I don't learn very fast. Yeah. But um, I don't know why I did decided to go with this one. You know, like I say, using now that I've used them both, uh, I probably would have gone with this one just because it to me it feels more traditional. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have the fold-up handlebars and all that stuff. Honestly, I don't use that. I have yeah. this big sh shop or a shed or whatever. So I just put it in there, you know, ready to go. But if you're space challenged, that's the way to go for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, ergonomically, it's great. Like I say, I really, I really like this better than this. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure Ego has fixed that this year. So. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. And then height adjustment's pretty similar, Super right? Super easy. Yeah. Just you get the height adjustment right there. Yeah. Raise it up. I don't think I've ever used it in any position except whatever that is for. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's an easy. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess here, why don't you come back here and take your camera? I'll talk about this one. All right. Again, one take. We're doing this in one yep. take. All right, so I got a new lawn last year. Thus, I needed a new mower. Uh, and I had had a commercial Honda Xenon deck, like HBR 215 since I was 16 years old. So 30-ish or 20-ish years. Um, that said, I wanted something pretty bulletproof and I've never really liked Egos or Ryobi or any of these brands. So nothing against them. They're just not usually my forte. I like to do something a little more you just reminded me why I went for ego. I'll tell you why in a second. I don't know why you went for ego too. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's car right by. But when I saw all the reviews on this Milwaukee, it really made a lot of sense. And so I went this direction. And honestly, I'm not disappointed in this one iota. This is a great, great unit. That said, this is replacing it. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, the feel of this is great. The height adjustment's great. Um, I love this. This is just so much like my old Honda. I actually was just taking it across the street. I was like, man, I, I already missed this. I, did, I know it so well. Um, to start it, it's power on. Go, and it's, and it's done. So it moves really quick. This control is beautiful. Um, you can be going, just tap it a little bit and you know, move forward and, and get to go faster or slower. Uh, so I really do like the control deck on these and I like it better than this thing like this stuff bothers me I think that might have been the reason that this now I'm thinking about it kind of got me to these first Although these are roughly the same price. So you think there's a big premium, but this is $6.99. What was that? Same. $6.99. Yeah um, So then I started thinking to myself self. How does this work? Tell you my counter around shooting the batteries here The batteries are interesting, right? Everyone knows this. There's four batteries in here bank A or one and bank two and then a key that you'll never touch um I thought, geez, well, you know, Makita has some other tools that I do like. So maybe even if I don't steal Terry's tools all the time, I might get a few I like that are Milwaukee. Like, you know, Makita had a chainsaw first, if memory serves. They had a really nice weed whacker. Uh, so I thought I might just utilize this for lawn equipment or, or that type of outdoor equipment. Um, and I haven't really done that. I have stolen your batteries once when for some reason one of my batteries weren't charged or whatnot. And it didn't quite make all the way to that point. So it, it has been beneficial to have it. Um, on the subject of batteries real quick, one thing I really, really love uh, is I don't need all four of these batteries in here. So if I screw up, which I do often, and I, I always switch between bank one to bank two and just flip back and forth and then keep rotating them on the chargers. Um, if for some reason I forget and run out of bank one really quick, I can throw it in the charger and it only has to charge for a little bit of while while this bank two is running. And then by the time bank two is done running, Bank one's probably charged enough that I can slam it back in there. I mean, it's kind of rare that it doesn't happen, but it has happened. Um, so that said, that is kind of a benefit. It's also, you know, could be considered a drawback in some regards too. So um, obviously these handles are, this thing's not light. It's no lightweight. I moved this thing. I was like, wow, that's, that's really light. Um, <clears throat> when I started with this Milwaukee, I really realized how much I kind of missed this bag. Uh, which is rare to say, but this literally doesn't bag as well as that one. But this is so much easier to grab and get. And, and this is a complete nuance thing. I still have to go under here. I still do that. I, mean, I guess I could do that, but I, I don't think I do. I think I do. 
I think I, I think I just do that and lift it up and go. I think when I use yours, I reach underneath. I just do this and slam it back in there. Hmm. It comes in and out no problem. Um, it is really quite easy. This little sensor to when the bag is full is completely useless. Um, it works for the first month. I use my so, foot. Kick it. Here's the hard part. Yeah, I always kick it too. Yeah, I always <laughs> do that thing. Uh, this does not fold up. I've got a pretty good sized garage, but I have built in benches around the whole edge of my garage. So to sneak this under those benches, I've gotten pretty high. I've got like sneak under like this, and do that type of thing. Uh, and to get it up on its edge is kind of difficult. So I'm gonna pull this forward. Kind of come to the next part here. The next part is this. Underneath, actually these batteries being, or these uh, wheels being rubberized are really quite nice. Um, they've, they've held up quite well. The bottom deck, I haven't cleaned that a whole ton. Uh, we do maintenance on it, but it's not crazy clean. This blade will come to you, and if you think it's sharp, you're 100% incorrect. Those Ego blades are sharp. Those are the sharpest blades out of all three of them out of the box, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this was darn near dull, but I just got one of those hand sharpeners and, and took care of it real quick. The thing that concerns me, I don't dig about this. We live in Seattle. Yeah, we get wet weather often. Um, you can't buy a high lift blade for this. And it's interesting because the blade angle is tipped for like maximum uh, efficiency of cutting through. Uh, but you can't buy a high lift blade. There's no other options for this whatsoever except this blade. While it's easy to change out, it's one bolt takes 10 seconds to take it off and, and sharpen it's not difficult. Uh, it's still disappointing that I couldn't find a blade that was um, a high lift blade. Now I would have just ignored that if um, I had the option to um, or needed to. I, I love this mower. Uh, you're, you're probably not going to go wrong with any one of these three you pick. This is us being completely finicky at this point. Terry, would you agree? Totally. <laughs> I mean, any one of these you're going to be totally fine with. Um, the only reason I got this is the last time I was mowing Milan, I had my headset in, my headphones, my noise canceling, listening to a book or whatnot, and I could hear it ticking in the mower, in the in the engine the motor, excuse me. Uh, and that to me, since I was still within the return window and the warranty period, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go swap this thing out before I have to worry about it. It actually runs perfectly fine. It's just making a noise that it shouldn't be making for an electric mower. So that's why it's going back. But the options on this thing are great. Um, I've really appreciated it a lot. Uh, I'm gonna miss this already. But what I'm not gonna miss is this piece right here. We'll back this up. When I want this to go lay flat, flip, 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 done. Now it doesn't go quite as compact, but I can actually back this in under my bench like that. And then I take the bag out and drop it on top. So I didn't think I'd like that. that oh, feature. it doesn't flip up and stand up? It will, but there's oh, a bag on it. Gotcha. Right, so in fact, these pieces right here, <laughs> Are designed to be perfectly the right height. So yeah, kickstands feel correct. Yeah. Um, since we're here, I guess we'll kind of go through the same ergonomics features and stuff. But um, the neck just flips so easy for me. Uh, not quite as easy as that ego, but this is this is a pretty darn commercial grade unit from a feel perspective as well. This, the reason why Makita doesn't do that is they say that this little bit will annoy professionals of wiggle and most professionals don't fold their mowers up they just slam on the deck and go and i agree with that uh and so that's why they've had this sturdy and honestly this has been great from a sturdy perspective um to move with this bail bar fast that thing to start that thing starts up fast so um bail bar and then variable speed so i mean it I'm not at full speed. That's at like three and a half, and it will take me work wherever I want to go. Another thing, if you, you're not used to electric mowers, push them without propulsion is a cakewalk. It, you actually have to run after it and chase it. Yeah, I, I feel silly sometimes using the propulsion on one because it is so light. Yeah, it really doesn't add a lot. You know, it's one, the one reason I like it, is, this is going to be weird, of being electric mowers, if I use a propulsion on this to do a straight line that's probably 150 feet long, it will actually keep it going straighter than if I try and push it. Yeah. So I use it honestly for that. I um, use mine to make me go slow. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, yeah. my natural pace is fast. Yep, too, absolutely. Yeah. You know, one handle adjusting. This is easier than that it's one, just by a little bit, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Um, again, a couple handles for lifting, which is great. 12 amp hour battery is awesome. Um, the one thing I noticed when I bought the Makita, I had a hard time getting a, a string trimmer and a blower. So I ended up buying Milwaukee string trimmer blower because I'm like, oh, I already have the batteries for it. And those have been excellent. And I've actually got the, um, the swap out tool with the string trimmer is the separating one, not the dedicated one. And it's been phenomenal. I was a little worried that I might not have enough power. Um, I actually put an edging unit on it the other day for the first time and it just went through all that sidewalk, no problem. Um, yeah, so battery indicators on this, we didn't talk about that. There's obviously battery indicators on the batteries, but then there's a, a push button here that will show. I don't know if you can see that. I can't actually see that at this angle. I have to do this thing. Um, it has a quiet mode, which will hold the RPMs down lower. I think when this one starts, it starts at 2300 RPMs and then it can go up to 2800. When it hits thicker grass, it, it modulates as needed. Um, this one starts at 28 and goes at 3300 as needed. Um, I believe the 2800 kind of worries me. I'm pretty noise sensitive. Um, I thought it was gonna be too loud. You thought it was gonna be too loud. You yeah. heard it like on the concrete. This is obviously a yeah, loud. It, it, it actually sounds like a gasoline mower when it's on concrete. But on the yeah. grass, it's not bad. It kind of muffles it through the grass. So that's good. Um, going through adjustments here real quick. Uh, again, on power this is I don't like this I dislike this a lot um, that said just because of what friction or no it's I this looks cheesy. I, li I like what well, it looks cheesy oh, well, yeah, I yeah, like yeah. that I yeah, like yeah. this control I think we're all in agreement we yeah. like a nice this stiff level this setup honestly is is the yeah. best thing and what I was really concerned with is um, I'm kind of into ergonomics and yeah I end up driving this like so right about here I think is where it ends up being um, and I was concerned that on the pictures, this looks flat. It doesn't look like it has any angle to it. Uh, it does have quite a lot of angle. I, I end up writing it like that right here, and it's fine. I still prefer the Makita better from that experience. Um, this has lights. This also has a high lift mode. So where this has a quiet mode to keep it quieter, this one has a <laughs> wake you up <laughs> mode, right? Like this will go and just stick at 3,300 RPMs. I tried it a bit. I honestly don't personally see a huge difference in it. Um, I mean, the noise goes up, it obviously spins, but I think it does just a great job at, at 2,800 RPMs as well. So here's my, my finicky piece. I'm gonna get real finicky. That thing is so easy. You just you know, put your hand out, yank it out. This, I've gotta come up here. It doesn't quite get to that point. And then you pull this out. And the interesting thing is what you'll note is that this bar goes all the way, the seal goes all the way, I'm doing this with the wrong hand in this here, goes all the way to this edge here where on the, the Makita it cuts off right here. So you have this open gap couple nice things about that when you're running it you can flip open and look but i think it's actually stopping some of the bagging performance in comparison to this one this one bags better <laughs> um i can't explain either that or it's the blade so it's one of the two but it bags better i have to empty it less often um but it's a little it's a little finicky here to lift this up um end of the world by no means a uh, battery indicator here i want you to come back and show this part here i don't know if this will um anytime you turn that on I've got roughly 7,000 square foot along, maybe 6,000 square foot along like you do. When I'm done, I'm just uh, getting to the second bar. So it basically uses a half a 12 amp hour battery. And this one I can do the whole lawn in the first um, five amp hours. So there's two five amp hour batteries, right? Five or sixes. Sure don't like it. Fives, I think. Yeah, fives. I, I can pretty much do 80% of the lawn on five amp hours of battery, so it, it works pretty well and if it's a light cut I can do the whole thing on, on one battery set it's no problem uh, this has lights on it I think the ego has lights too I've never used them I don't know about you I don't mow at night I, maybe I, you just had to remind me that it has headlights no when it's nighttime I'm other, I'm other things, other things. Yeah. yeah uh but who knows maybe one day I'll use it and then I'll laugh that I said that um the lighting system is fine the blade's fine everything works great I do kind of wish it was a little bit more like that ego or this slid down but I also don't appreciate the kind of jiggeriness of that i'd rather like it be a little more stiff so yep. you know, teach one's own so this one definitely bags better it cuts it seems like it gets a couple cuts on it before it actually um gets to the back i think that's why it like lays in there better well that'll have longer cuts and it kind of pillows up in the front again we're getting finicky any one of these mowers you buy you like this is how this thing parks and the first thing I did was buy a high cut blade on it. And I've cut with both of them. Um, this has been cleaned. 
I did not sharpen the blade at all, and this is not nearly as sharp as that blade is. So if I took five minutes sharpening it, um, we would probably get better performance out of it. It is, um, this is a game changer, not keeping it like this. Yes, it would be fine probably for the winter, I'd keep it like this, but just being able to take this and slide it under something and just go like that, and then it's out of the way completely is huge to me. Um, too soon to tell you what the battery is going to be like over time, I would say. These are all, I think you've been a little disappointed with your Ego batteries in some cases. Well, I think, frankly, I think everybody overrates and under delivers. Yeah. Um, so. Well, they, they have very specific metrics. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. inch for this if distance. You're, if you're mowing carpet with no propulsion uh, with a tailwind, you'll probably get the right. full life. But right. Now, that said, um, this is by far and away the most powerful out of these three mowers. There's no question in my mind about that. Yeah, well, your ear will tell you that even yeah. if the blade doesn't. I mean, it, yeah. it starts up, nothing stops it. I can mow a lawn faster with this than that. Hands down, bar none, every time. Um, I'm slowing it down. And our neighbor's a professional landscaper. He used this. He actually liked it. Um, he used this to test out in his yard. Uh, it was comically the day after that I started hearing the ticking on the mower, so maybe he, he drilled it or something, but um, I don't think that's the case. He's very gentle. With things, but, uh, oh, you mean he used that? That He didn't buy one. He used that No, he that used mine. One. I told God. him to borrow it. Test it if you like. Because <clears throat> uh, I have a lot of confidence in it. It is a great unit. There's no question about it. Uh, if you like a Honda, this is a Honda handset all day long, and it's... We've been cutting with Hondas for years, you know. Well, actually, the new Hondas I don't like, and that's oh, why that's I went right. electric. They changed, yep, they? they got that goofy plastic ergo yeah. grip thing that I didn't like. They, these, I can't speak to your yard. These both stripe about as equally. People talk about striping. My lawn can't tell now, but every time I cut it, people are like, oh, you had to stripe the yard to come on in today or whatnot. There's my like, stripe from three days ago. Yeah, I mean, it's so mine was striped a week ago. Um, and so these will stripe equally, even though the the little rubberized piece in the back of this Milwaukee is a lot less weight than the Makita. Um, anything else I'm forgetting on this? I don't think so. I guess real quick benefits and drawbacks. Like benefits here is obviously you can have just use two of the four batteries. Um, the, the ergonomics of this is arguably better. It's, it really depends on what you're going to what you're gonna like it's, I'm sure it's personal because yeah, I can't imagine these guys would have done a, a you know a potential buyers group and come away with a design that wasn't the the most popular choice yeah, yeah. you know and then this one the ergonomics I was concerned about but honestly it's just fine I, would I prefer that on here absolutely but would I prefer the power of this yeah uh, again I'm slowing this thing down I can as fast as I want to walk behind this thing cutting you know my lawn over there it will it will absolutely just power through it um, and and not clog up I think these would clog up coming in this doesn't clog up at all so there's some benefit to that uh, but there's some downfall too uh, what else well you're getting to the limit of most youtubers attention yeah, no, span right really, now last thing I'm just gonna make one more comment yeah, please. ecosystem the ecosystem three years ago is different than it is today yeah and uh, Makita didn't have the hedge trimmer and the weed whacker and the blower that I wanted. A friend of mine had one of his Ego blowers and I was really impressed with it. So I now have the Ego blower, I have the Ego string trimmer, and I have the Ego hedge yep. trimmer. And anybody who's used a Black & Decker hedge trimmer, once you use the Ego, they will throw that electric piece of shit in the garbage and they will go this. And it's not a, it's not a commercial one. No. It's just so much better than any other yep. you know, homeowner grade one I've ever used. I mean, it chops, well, you can't see now. These, some of these things here get to be a half an inch thick, five-eighths of an inch thick in the fall. And it hogs right through them just like it's a gas-powered machine. Yeah. The neighbor has a gas-powered machine, and I will take my electric one over at any time. Yeah. So, and for me, just talking about ecosystem in general, uh, the Makita, again, I wanted to like that ecosystem. Ended up picking up the Milwaukee stuff, and it's been excellent. I think the one thing I think of is my blower doesn't have nearly the push of that Ego. Uh, but I have a BR600 steel that I throw on my back when I want to like go do some real stuff. So I consider it more of like a, an air broom, if you will. It'll do some work, don't get me wrong. It's not completely weak, but um, in general, I think that you know I have a combined ecosystem there. The string trimmer, I have no complaints with. The, the attachments for that, I think, are gonna be completely adequate. But um, again, I don't think anyone's gonna go wrong picking up any one of these mowers. Um, just don't run over your dog if she's a little older and lays through your lawn. Uh, that's Tucker. She's sweet. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's all the nuanced stuff that I've thought about. Again, if you wanna look up real specs, look them up somewhere else. This is just seat of the pants. How does it work? We've, we've owned two of them for a year. You know, and I would take any one of these any day of the week because what it's kept me from doing is going to the gas station and yes. a stinky can of gas home in the back of the Jeep. Ignore that. Yeah, I agree with that. But if you want to go cut one part of your lawn for 10 minutes, nothing stops you. If you're like, I've got 10 or 15 free minutes, I want to cut that, that patch of lawn right there. You'll just go out there and click it on and go because there's no thought process of starting it going at all, right? Yep. And for me, I've got two kids. So like sometimes I only have 20 minutes. I'm going to go whip that back lawn out real quick. I'm not filling something up, doing whatever, do, you know what I mean? I'm Not that I, the maintenance, I ever maintenance any one of my mowers anyways, <laughs> but if I did, it wouldn't stop me from, from buying one of them. But you, you are giving me flashbacks to every time I've tried to start a gas-powered string trimmer or gas-powered blower. Yeah. It, it takes you 20 minutes just to... You could have been done with the job. Started. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that get frustrated and the, the string, the, the, ga the electric string trimmer and everything is completely worth it. The other thing I would say is that what, my downfall in Milwaukee, man, you run out of one of those batteries. It's never happened with me, but I'm waiting for the day when it runs out. You need both batteries in there. And those are 12 amp hours, which mean to me, you need at least a six or an eight before you, you can. Match or you, you just get the performance yeah. of the lowest one. Well, you don't get the longevity of the lowest yeah. one you'll i mean so two, a yeah. six and a ten is the same as a six and a six correct which is fine honestly as far as i'm concerned but um yeah you definitely need to you need to manage that a little better that said i've yet to ever run out of power on it we've got what third acre lots here just under um theoretically it's designed for a commercial operation and it's going to be running with this thing all day long right but they're expecting them to have two batteries or two battery sets and charging and flipping right so like however you cut it all nuance um, and this Milwaukee, I thought was going to look a lot uglier in person than it does. It actually, it doesn't look that ugly. So that said, I hope this was helpful to people. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to like, and subscribe because I'm not <laughs> going to probably put anything else out there uh, unless you want me to do something. We got a lot of crazy tools we can do. Let me know. All right. Cheers.